Kieran the Barber. Today I am doing a side part pompadour skin fade on my boy Amir. Um, Amir's been coming to me since he was little, so we're just gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna go through some stuff I did with my Andis, and then I use some uh, Wildcat hair clay, and I use some Trigger Happy Texturizing the hairspray. Please smash that like button, enjoy my video, check out all my other videos, why not? <laughs> enjoy the video. Right guys, welcome to my hair tutorial. Um, as you can see on Amir's hair, it's thick, dark hair. Um, so the best thing we're doing right now is we're gonna spray that stuff, spray that hair down, get the parting in place, and then I'm gonna use my Slimline Pro Allies. I'm gonna form that line. I'm only tapping very, very gently. If I tap very hard, it will leave a mark. So what I wanna do is I wanna just tap that very, very gently, very softly, and I can just bring that up and clear the rest of the hair. It is as simple as that. So using my number one Andis magnetic guard on my Andis US Pro Ally cordless, just stick straight on. I want to take it up about half an inch with also just flicking the um, using the flicking motion. So as you can see, as I'm coming up, I'm just flicking away. And what that does is, when I'm going to go blend that in afterwards, that will make my job so much easier. So as you can see, I'm not just taking that straight up, I'm using, I'm resting it on my four fingers and I'm just flicking using that circular motion. It's very, very simple. What I do is suggest to new people who are just starting out, buy a pair of clippers, use them on a wall, a very flat wall, and just try and get that C motion on the flat wall. Practice makes perfect, guys. So slightly out of focus, <laughs> but I flick that to a half now. So a half turn turns from a one is a three mil and a half will be a 1.5 mil. I use exactly the same motions. You know, it's not it's not a race. This is a marathon, and to get the perfect haircut, it doesn't take three to four minutes. It takes a good 40 minutes to you know a good hour just takes time so you can see with my um, 0.5 I'm just flicking that up very very fast <laughs> um, so yeah and then we'll go and then what I'll do is I'll filter between the grades so I'll filter between a 0.5 and a 0 just to start blending that line out
so then with my white and this clipper comb as you can see it gets through the hair so much easier and you can see the hair because Amy's hair is very very dark using that white clipper comb shows all of his dark hair straight through I find using a black comb on someone like Amy or some someone with sort of darker hair i.e. afro hair where it's very 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 dark um, you can't always get sort of the best results just because it is that sort of defining dark hair through the dark comb so yeah that's my little tip light comb dark hair dark comb light hair and then afterwards see this is my favorite bit about the haircut is the the sort of using my thinners and using my shears to just take that softly because I know a lot of barbers um, blend that that bit in there sort of the bit where it needs to be faded with clippers I like to do my with very very small comb and my shears just because it leaves it that little little bit softer um, and you'll notice by the end of this video how actually soft that hair is it's it just looks it just sits so much better when it's it's sheer cut so now taking it section by section just taking off about half an inch pulling back about a centimeter at a time just really trimming into his hair just really want to level it up and then I want to just put some because his hair so thick so what I'll do is I'll comb it over and then I'll run the shears straight for it just putting some real real texture just running for it so when I blow dry it back it just sits a lot softer Now this is where it gets good. The Slimline Pro Allies um, are really, really, really simple with the gap. And look how close they get. With my iAd, no red marks. It's the best cordless trimmer I have ever used, ever, to date. Um, I don't think it can really get much better if I'm, if I'm honest with you. Just look how straight and how sharp that line is. It's crazy. You thought that was, if you were to just walk out like that, you'd have thought that had been razored in. Now don't get me wrong, I do go over it and I do razor it because I just, it's force of habit with everything. So yeah, now just watch this. Send my paralyzed beard. It leaves no hairs whatsoever. There's no struggle getting through that. It doesn't leave any hairs. It makes it nice and smooth. Oh, I just, I, I could watch them all day. They're absolutely amazing. They're a great piece of kit. And if you don't have them in your kit and you're a barber, why have you not got them in your kit? That's what you have to ask yourself. So now guys, I'm using a cheeky bit of elegance gel, rubbing that all around the sides. It is silicone based, so it gets 
right in there, pulls up them hairs and the hair glides off like butter. What I'll be using is, I'll be using my Bluebeard's Cutthroat Chevette. Um, who uses Bluebeard's is the best cutthroat on the market for me personally at the moment. Just reason being is because it keeps the blade nice and tight in there. And it works really, really well. It fits in your hand. It's, it's a little bit heavier than normal cutthroats. Tell me what you guys use. I'd really, really love to know. Comment in the description below your favourite cutthroat and what you use. Trigger Happy Texturizing Spray. One of my favorite, favorite styling um, products from Johnny's Chop Shop. Make sure you go in the link, just in the link below, I will have Johnny's Chop Shop, their YouTube and their official website for you to buy any products from or to just go see their site, see what they do over there. Um, I love Johnny's Chop Shop and the reason being I love Johnny's Chop Shop is because it is just one of the greatest products I've ever used. It really, really is. At the moment, by far, the Wildcat hair clay, which I'm about to use after I've blow dried Emma's hair, is by far the best wax I've ever used. The main reason being is because not a lot of waxes, what you put in the hair, tend to sit dry. This sits very dry, it sits very natural, and it holds so well. Um, and I have a review video as well which I'll put in the description I have the review video from the texturizing spray and from the wildcat hair clay so they'll both be in the description below make sure you check them out as well So as I said, Wildcat hair clay, the orange tin. Oh my god! If if your if your clay has two tigers on the tin, it means it's got to be serious business, right? <laughs> so just rub that into your hands. You need like a five pence piece bit, and then run it through the front using all the wax, making sure you're getting your fingers right in there. Make sure you separate that. And now the best thing that I like to use to finish this haircut is a Jack Dean pompadour comb. You can, uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link in the below if you want to know where you can get them from. Um, what that does is that really just separates that hair with a more natural look instead of being like combed back with like a uh, sort of brush with loads of teeth in it or a comb with loads of teeth in it. This has wide tooth, so it separates the hair really nice, giving that a really, really natural sort of feel to it. So guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out all the links in the description, make sure you check out my next video what I've got coming soon, make sure you click on Johnny's Chop Shop channel and click on their Instagram and my Instagram, give me a sub, give them a sub, I hope you really have a fantastic weekend guys, God bless you all, peace out people!